Hello everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Neverwinter Nights 2. I am your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we managed to... I should pause that so that my spirit energy doesn't drain out. We managed to rescue the forest, basically, um, by restoring the... Uh, what am I looking for? The, uh, the woodman, the spirit of the forest, back to his rightful place, um, as well as dealing with some people that betrayed us. But uh, after that now, we are off to the city, uh, the sunken city, I should say. That's where we're heading to now. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think we rest on the journey, so I don't really need to do that now. Oh, no, hang on. There was another thing we needed to do as well. Um, Immelvale, because when we were here, it said that if we rested underneath the uh, the stone, we would have weird dreams. So we'll do that first, and then we'll head to the sunken city because it's closer. Okay, so I imagine what we need to do is just oh, okay. Snow glitters under a brilliant sun, trackless and white, impossibly so. Uh, the trees seem to hold their breath, and you hear nothing. It is as if you have intruded upon a forest in an impossibly distant past. Before any living creature walked the world, when the gods themselves were strangers to snow and sky and land. We are in Ashenwood, a version of the woods that once were. Something is wrong here. Be on your guard. This looks like an interesting dream. Let us explore for a bit, but be careful. I wasn't expecting your presence here, but all right, let's move on. Oh, and I probably should... There we go. Oh, hello there. Psst. Something walks this way. Uh, walks in our lady's garden. Stay back. We found her. She is ours. She is all we have, and you cannot take her away. Careful. These four men can harm us. How'd you find your way to this place? Tell us. I just closed my eyes and went to sleep. Is it true? Does he dream us, or do we dream him and each other? Be quiet. He is a bearer of the gift, nothing more. Uh, they arise one after another, blazing bright and then guttering out. They hunger, gorge, and are gone, but we remain. We have her for an anchor. So who are you? Says, we are echoes of those who once bore. Ah, so these are the other people that have um, had the uh, the wibbly wobbly creature. Um, uh, so we are spirit eaters. Well, we're not like you. We worshipped the gift and passed it amongst ourselves, each reveling in hunger for its allotted time, and then slain by his successor. Sweet Jara was first, gorging on the spirits of the wood, turning verdant green into withered black, until her time had passed. Then Koshik crushed her skull, and the gift passed to him. Poor Koshik hungered only briefly. He tried to devour a great tree spirit, but it fell on him and cracked his spine. <laughs> um, well, how many spirit eaters have there been? Hundreds, hundreds of masks. We have, uh, so no, so we have seen usurpers come and go, but how many arose before us? What difference does it make? All right. Uh, so what's important about this woman? She is the last of many, all facets of the same dream, the, the same memory. There were many once before the hunger took them all. She, only she remained because she was always the strongest. Her garden, our garden, grew firm and strong around her. Please don't take her away. Don't cast us adrift. Ah, 
Damn, itchy. We cannot bear it again. Um... Can we come to some sort of agreement? I'd gladly offer you a gift if you'll let me speak to the Red Woman. No! She's, uh, she's been waiting for this one. They'll speak their words and then she'll leave us. Uh, we got up just losing our anchor. And I think that if we slay you here, we'll... Oh, God. All right, fine. Let me go green. He's got some good magic, I'll give him that. Oh, good. I waited for you. I fear you would not find me before the hunger took me. She speaks as if an echo across a great distance and a familiar one, but... You look like Sophia, but who are you? I am only a memory, a memory of love, loss, but not forgotten. This mask fragment contains my essence, all that I am. I have saved it for you. Keep it hidden in a remote and forgotten place. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That mask she offers, it, if it can exist outside the dream, it's a powerful thing indeed. It's your choice to take it or not, but you'd best decide quickly. Um... You will not see, we will not see one another again. Not until we must draw out the memory of what once was. No, I will be safe while the mask is in your hands. All right. Until I need you, when will that be? She, uh, she speaks but cannot hear, you can't hear her words, the dream. We just... Well, that was weird. Journal, dreamscape. Um, in a dream, you're given a secret fragment of a shattered mask. Incredibly, the fragment was still in your hand. Where's the. F oh, there it is. Uh, okay. Cool. So we've got another quest similar to um, reuniting the Sword of Gith, it looks like. Alright, Sunken City. You've arrived at the beach of Lake Mul... Sentia, overlooking the drowned remains of an ancient Ismaki city. Search the area and discover a way to enter the city. Shall do. This place is once major Ismaki... Whoa, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't really care for this conversation. There are weird tentacle monsters in the lake. And this guy doesn't seem to give a shit about that. Uh, maybe lots of history here, assuming the hags have been pillaged and defaced everything. We should look for a way to reach those intact buildings right off the shore. I can smell rotting and corruption in the air. It isn't you, Spirit Eater. It is a stench of bloated corpses and twisted spirits. There is a city here. Perhaps the ebb and flow of the waves. Perhaps the fall of night shall grant us a bridge. Though I fear what that will bring. We will not be uh, the only petitioners at this gate. You sound quite uneasy. Uh, my tone and intent are seldom the same. Come, the city of Hags awaits. Uh, well, do you know how to get in? I've only seen this place in my dreams, so I can... I am almost as much of a stranger to this waters and its ingress as you. But something tells me that nightfall will come with its own clues. All right. You there! Open to the middle of nowhere, stranger. If you've come for the fishing, you'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> um, well, I haven't come for the fishing. Just as well. You'll find uh, you'll not catch any fish in these waters anyway. Uh, they don't even come out until night time. So why don't you fish at night then? Oh, I am. 
Oh, Fetlami, that's no Rush, uh, Rashomai name. It's derived from a language of gene kind. It means false face, does it not? Oh. How do you know that? I would never have remembered. Ah. Or perhaps I should have chosen a cleverer name. Ah, uh, but my little Jess amused me. You are correct, it's not my true name. Uh, in truth, I am a Deo. Ah, he's a genie. Deo genie. I thought as much. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Uh, <laughs> uh, are such things important to you? I felt exposing this disguise too soon would not help our forward progress. I have no interest in deceiving you. When visiting more primitive words such as this, I typically adopt a form that will not alarm the indigenous inhabitants. Well, I respect real privacy as long as the deception is harmless. Uh, a harmless deception? That's quite a contradiction. Oh, fuck off. Uh, we have something in common. Uh, we're both outsiders, sleeping in the backyard of a sombering cabin, but the doors uh, are not open by day. I must go. This is not any place for uh, the ignorant to linger after nice falls. If you remain here, feel free to examine your uh, uh, this fishing gear for anything relevant that you might be looking for. Farewell. I trust we'll meet again in uh, some form or another. All right. Oh, the chest is trapped. Now, excuse me while I blow up. There we go. Uh... And we have the Fisherman's Journal. This is the journal of a fisherman that has been left exposed to the elements. Most of the pages are either stuck together or the ink is smudged so badly that the fisherman's uh, barely legible scribblings are completely unreadable. The last few pages of the journal remain mostly intact. Yep, this is the place that drunk Hangspawn told me about. Found two bodies to salvage. Uh, just walking along the shore and I'm about to fish another one out the water. Don't know which boat these sailors drowned off of, and I don't care. They went to their watery grave with their pockets full of gold. Strange fella came out of nowhere today, some bloke named Fetlamy. Took an interest in my fishing and warned me not to stay here when it gets dark. Crazy talk, but I chased him off with a few choice insults. Uh, was here, I was here first, so I guess first right to the salvage. Uh, wait here since morning and nothing. But then in the late afternoon, a pair of rich bodies bobbed up. Maybe uh, the light toward dust pays tricks on the sailors and they crash into the ruins offshore. I never see the shipwrecks, but something. sometimes I listen closely and I can hear some ungodly screams. <laughs> Poor fools cry out for mercy to some umbly uh, when she got none. From up. Uh, whatever. New bodies washed ashore late this afternoon. It was loaded with valuables too. Some of them don't look much like sailors, but they're dead and loaded all the same. So they could be floating up from the hells for all I care. Another week of this and I can retire. Nice place, far away. Maybe the Sword Coast. I hear Neverwinter is a nice place. Uh, hiding behind a bush as I write this. Umberly have mercy. I should have listened to the man, uh, Fetlamy, and not stayed here past dusk. I just got carried away and didn't notice the time. So, then some black swirling eye just appeared on the shore. An evil creature from the hells came and started uh, walking into it and getting stuck inside. Dear God, if I've survived this night, I'll pack up my fishing gear and never return. So, yeah. Some black swirling eye just appeared on the shore and evil creatures from the hells came and started walking into it. And getting sucked inside. Well, surely that's a good thing. I mean, if an eye opens up and evil spirits go into the eye, that's fine. If they were coming out of the eye, that would be more of a cause for concern, I would imagine. Ah, right. Ooh, they have a beat. Oh, no, he's beached, brew. He's beached ears. Oh, no, it's Goose Ritz. Ah, of course, the uh, the sun's going down. That's why it's all getting weird. I can't 
believe it though. They've somehow managed to make sea monsters boring. I mean, you would imagine standing on the shore of a lake, the sun going down with tentacle monsters would, you know, popping out and doing weird tentacly things would be kind of terrifying, but they've somehow managed to make it boring, and I'm amazed at this. It's like, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello! Oh no! Ah! It's the shadow portal. Oh, I see what's going on. Got into the shadow realm. Ah! Oh. I think we'll just keep going. Great charisma. Because I am great. Yes. Alrighty. Ah, there's Fitlamy. Ah, you've made it here. I knew you didn't seem like average beachcombing adventurers. Um, so what do you want exactly? I run one of the largest gem mining operations in the Great Dismal Dell, but our daily yields have been reduced due to the sabotage of one of my rivals. To recover my profits, I need a heavy lifter, a being of great strength and power, but easily controllable. That was a very colorful way of saying that you seek a slave. Um, I'm not going to tolerate slavery, motherfucker, especially not me. Nor do I, wretched spirit. I should liberate your head from your shoulders and free you um, of your foolish beliefs. Please, slavery is a distasteful uh, descriptor and not appropriate in this case. It is uh, the weapon. Uh, is the weapon you wield a slave to you? Uh, just get to the point. As a being that I... Uh, there's a being that I can use beneath the uh, Kavenya Kurgadlavr. It is among the mightiest of the earth elementals bound to this plane. Uh, so you mean to make this creature your slave? Please, slavery is a distractful of crypto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get to the point. All right. Um, there is a being that I can use. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so what do you need me to do? I simply need you to vanquish the Earth Elemental in the scheme beneath Hovetico uh, Calganus, so that it will return to the Elemental Plane of Earth, where I have the means to bind him to my service. In exchange for your service, I will provide you with a key that will open the entire uh, the entrance leading directly to the skein, and when you return, I will pay you your weight in gold. Uh... Well, it's so simple, why don't you do it yourself? Well, you see, though I'm quite capable of wrangling the Earth Elemental, I fear that the task is left delegated to others. <laughs> don't be fooled by his arrogance, little one. I can smell his fear. He is terrified by something close by. What the genie isn't telling you is that the Deo are, by their terrestrial nature, terrified of water. They prefer to keep both feet firmly on solid ground. I'm more than happy to part with some of my ample fortune to spare myself the inconvenience. All right. I'll give us information first, and I'll consider helping you. Certainly. Though my knowledge of this place is limited, since I've never uh, crossed the docks. Uh, do you know about the skein? I uh, know little, since I've never been there. Much like beneath it, my hagsborn contact, who sold me the key offered few details, and he was taken away by the hag before I had a chance to purchase more information from him. I know the scheme does not exist in the Plane of Shadow, the key unlocks a portal. Although I was told the scheme is partially flooded and therefore probably abandoned. Alright. So why is there an Earth Elemental there? I don't know what function it once served, uh, but the ancient race of mortals that bound the Earth Elemental to this place are long dead. Alright. Farewell. Go if you must, and I'm sure you'll return once you tire of waiting in line to see the coven. Alrighty. Merrick. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, no. There's another beach corpse, a corpse brew. It's beached ears. Piss off, ghost. Ooh, a plus four short sword. Nice. Let's see what the servant hanging around the coffin is up to. Back, step away from the Count. Uh, Crowroos, filthy mortal. Uh, Count Crowroos is in the coffin. Ah, this is only a coffin mortal. It was carved out of solid ashenwood pine, but we contain the essence of the genus Loci. It was enchanted by the Count himself. And quite impenetrable, and its lock can only be opened from within the coffin. I think Karge could open that lock. His tiny hands could reach where human hands can't. Ha! <laughs> so, that lock? Easy. I could s bring that lock with my head stuck in a vice. Uh, it doesn't actually stick my head in a vice, please. Thank you. What? You're still linger here? Like stink of a bog. Be gone! Um. So. Uh, who is this count? You truly don't know? He is the best if you... Uh, that is best if you remain ignorant. For your own sake, back away from the count. What are you going to do about it, though? Oh, I need not do anything. Your lowly presence will disturb the count's slumber, and he will awaken angry and thirsty for blood. Yeah, all right, show me some respect or I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, try to harm me all you wish. My bond with the count makes me indestructible. Fine. Coffin is locked. Seems quite secure. The coffin may be too heavy for you, little one, but I could easily take that coffin between my teeth and fling it back through the portal. Oh, great idea. I want to examine all the options first, though. Would you like Kaj to try the lock? Uh, yes, try to open the lock. Uh, the outside of the coffin has no obvious locking mechanisms. You can't figure out how to open it. Well, he seems like a capable thief. He should uh, have no trouble with this lock. Ah, my dear. Open that lock for me, please. How did you? What have you done? Who disturbs my rest? Yeah, fuck you, Count C Crow's Roost. Oh. I don't know if that was important, but there we go. <laughs> the vampire is dead. <laughs> Alright. Who is this Matic person? Ah! It's you again. Are you surprised to see me? I'm not. I use my great powers of evocation to produce a solution to see, uh, seeing the coven. And you arrive. This is no coincidence. This foul thing is free. I see. It was not the only one awoken by your clumsy stumbling throughout my home. All right, this is the lich that we were, were fucking around with inside the temple in the first session. You were the catalyst of my freedom from the barrow. As I absolutely loathe being indebted to other beings, I will grant my considerable talent to aid you here. Oh. Uh, well, I'm here to see the coven, you know. I offer you the rare opportunity and ally uh, to ally with me in a mutual endeavor to gain entrance to the convenia and rouse the slumbering coven. Uh, yeah, I could use you. Why not? You disappoint me. I should be snapping its bones between my teeth and not traveling alongside it. Ah, you've chosen wisely. The coven will surely 
you'll be a great audience to Merrick, the Arch Lich, and his spirit eater accomplice. Hey, hey, we got a Lich. I can't control him. All right. Hello there, Omegu. You, you must come here now. Uh, am I in trouble? Oh, yes, by you, I think you are in trouble, or you will be soon. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. Uh, you see that weak gear you're wearing? For even stepping outside your home to pull the equip, you must uh, either be very brave or very stupid. You calling me stupid, then? Ah, oh, don't get upset. I will uh, assume you are just brave and not stupid. But bravery can only take you so far. You go all the way, you must outfit yourself in Omegle's fine armor. Ah, oh, you're a merchant. Oh, so glad you ask. Uh, have a look at my goods, even. Uh, I'll even give you some gold for, for the trash you're equipped with now. Oh, how lovely. I can trade out the crap I don't need. Can it be the scent of my spirit kin in this foul place? Oh, that seems interesting. Uh, Gruff. Hello there, Gruff. It's the thing. Spirit Eater, you betray the gift. Uh, if this uh, were a more private place, I would hasten your inevitable destruction. Um, well, let's find some place more private then. Uh, you're right to yearn for a quick death, and I will provide it, uh, provide it to you that the gift may pass to one who is worthy. Uh, what an arrogant creature. These disgusting apes have changed little in the years of my slumber. Ah, uh, meet me on the dark side of the building when you're prepared for your end. Alright, let's go follow Gruff the... Oh yeah, dude. Ah, uh, we will devour you and perhaps one of us will be blessed with the gift. Ah, uh, punching shit. Wow, car fucking boom. Mysterious meat, eh? Oh, there's a locked side door here. Can we just smash the door in? Nope. It's resistant to all damage, so it does no does no thing, nothing. Alright, so we got the Janasi Priest, the Janasi Servant. Let's have a chat with the Janasi Prince. Leave me be, Petitioner. Never before in my life have I been more incensed. Or maybe I could help. What? Sympathetic ear exists in this forsaken place? Fine, I will tell you my tale. Here is what happened. My entourage and I were within Coven Corganis in the fourth place uh, to see the slumbering coven. No sooner did I attain my place in line than the slumbering coven decided to stop giving audiences. So I waited with the patience that only royalty can muster. Eventually, natural body functions imposed themselves and I needed relief. But there was no appropriate facilities within Covea Corganis. Uh, go on. So I was forced to come outside uh, of the Kavea Corganus to use the facilities here, and when I finished, the guards would not let me back in. The insolence. Oh, how dreadful. Ah, you should not have to tolerate such insolence. Yes, you are quite right. Why, well, I should leave here this moment and file a formal complaint. I have connections, you know. Thank you for illuminating this matter for me. If you remain, I hope that you will not fall for the same tricks. Farewell to you. Come, my entourage. We must, uh, let us leave here with haste. All right, you can go have a pee outside. Well done. Excuse me, sirs. Ah, look, another petitioner. Join the crowd. We're placing bets on how long each will wait before they either give up or leave or snap. Ah, uh, well. Can I get in on the betting? <laughs> no one's ever asked for that before. You're a good sport, you. All right, Mulv. What do you think? Shall we let the... Uh, 
What, what should we let the nice position a bit? No, no bets. Bets off. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, for up to me, I gladly take your money. But you heard Malv. Uh, what's wrong with Malv? Uh, wrong. Malv, wrong. <laughs> smash, snap. Oh, I say, wrong. Malv, wrong. Smash, snap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, Malv. I'm sure the stupid petitioner didn't mean it. Stupid. No matter to me. But you might show more tact around Malv. Uh, when he was a B A B Y, he was D R O P P E D repeatedly by his M O T H E R uh, to see if he would bounce. Bounce, he bouncy, bouncy. I imagine such droppings were intentional. Hags are rarely afflicted with maternal instincts common to other races. All right, we better change the subject. Well, I need to get in to see the um, the sombering coven. Well. Uh, the crowd of petitioners sure has thinned. A bit more manageable numbers since uh, your arrival. I lost my bet on you. But that's the way it goes. Well, can I get in to see them now? Sure enough, as soon as I line my pockets with the standard bribe. Well, I hope you brought enough coin to expect them to simply open the gates at your request. Um, ooh, shit. I didn't have 50,000 gold. I do, but I'm not going to pay it. Uh, too bad. Why not rob someone and return here with a proper bribe? Oh, fuck, what? I got no choice. Alright, fine. Here you go. I wonder. Alright. Ah, pleasure doing business with you. Don't uh, you worry about the bruised egos among the petitioners. You've paid us quite enough to keep them in line. Set through the portal whenever you're ready. The trip can be disorienting, so I hope you've got an empty stomach. All right, here we go. Enter the portal. Whee! So what have we got here? Oh. These ruins are in Iscarian design. Very much like the ruins in the spirit barrel. Can we Oh, right. I thought it was like a set of stairs, but no. The set of stairs are over here. Where there is a door. Oh. Come too near. I smell you boisting. Go away. Hello, good newcomer. You bring money, yes? Guather, take light money. Oh, how refreshing. Most flirt with uh, the subject of bribery, and this one asks for it bluntly. I can almost respect that. I wouldn't bribe him. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't bribe him, but perhaps we could buy something from him. Um, I could buy something from him that he detests such as his servant. Uh, which perhaps would be everyone's mutual benefit. Ah... Uh, you replaced Janasi. You want to trade Gotha with him? Uh, what did you trade? Oh, their leader. He's thirsty from weight. So I trade him a bucket of chinkle pot. Gave him good deal. It's such a waste. Why was it a waste? Well, it's all gone. Janasi leader. He drank some bucket, spilled most, and fell down the... Uh, Atomic. Uh, Janasi must got weak bow, like tree leaf. Uh, chuckle pot went right through, straight to the butt. Yeah. So what is this chuckle poot? Oh, how do I say? Uh, like juice of fermented rodent. Owers love it too much. Uh, makes them not thirst, puts air on their nose. Ah. So what happened to the Janasi leader? Oh, I think he made, uh, Sticky nature, he yelled to his servants, Privy, privy! Ah, uh, what they privy to, I not know. I tell him uh, to make nature in the corner of the room. Uh, we don't mind, but uh, he, he's already started a nature pile. But uh, he almost uh, cover uh, Kempo, dumb boy stink. 
Well, I want to talk about something else. Yes? You want to trade uh, Guatha now? Uh... What do you have to trade? Oh, see you, boy. Uh, that dumb Kempo. Him. He's why we come. Uh, we trade him from Art Mage. Who's a special trial worth much shall uh, we bring to the coven so we know how special he is and how uh, Guatha make a profit. But line aren't moving for a long time. Ah, K-pop has a less than flattering translation. Let's just say dog that eats its own excrement. Oh, great. Uh, it's the most polite translation. I imagine this boy was treated a little better than his nickname. Uh... You like him? I trade him to you. Uh, make it worth uh, to Guantha. I want 30,000 gold. I'll praise him. No, it's a fair price. Already lower because I'm sick of waiting in line. Um... Well, it's an insult in your tongue. You obviously don't like the boy. Ah, uh, you know, Guatha, dumb kebop, so much uh, bother. Then I may trade him for small profit. I discount you, so you want him for 20,000 gold? Um, yeah, fuck it, fine. Celebrate good trade. Uh, you not regret now, Guatha. Uh, not need to keep wait for the coven to tell uh, how Kebop's special. Kebop, dumb boy, you go with them now in good riddance. Thanks again for the trade and profit. Enjoy, you dumb uh, special boy. Guatha, make gone now. All right, fuck off. Hey, boy. Him, dumb boy, not talk. You want me talk. All right. He's just going to follow me around now. Okay, cool. Hagspawn guard. Oh, God. So we've got to go basically bribe our way through all these people, do we? But since it's blinded by hunger, I know I do a spirit eater. Uh, for sh we hunger, we cannot feed on this one. Ah, I have that weird meat. Yes, it is a spirit eater, but the one who squandered the gift. Oh, we'll make a fine meal of the family. I actually brought you something else that you can eat. Foolish spirit eater, we all devour your offering when we are finished with you. Perhaps the gift will pass to me when I lap at your heart's blood. Alright. <laughs> Dented platter. All right. All right, and we got some people to deal with. Hello, dude. Another lich. Puzzling. What are you accompanied by? Uh, why are you? Sorry. Another lich. Puzzling that you are accompanied by the living. Perhaps you are newly made and not yet strong enough to break your mortal ties. <laughs> A foolish accusation from one who still has stripes of, strips of flesh clinging to his face. I, uh, uh, I am Maddock of Impurus, once high artificer of the Purple Emperor of Iskmark. I am only, my only remaining tie to mortality is the dust of this place where I walked untold centuries prior on my mortal birth. Very well, I withdraw my re remark, and grant you the courtesy of an audience with me. I know why you are here. Uh, why does it matter if you be first in line when the coven will see no one? Um, can I offer to make you give me your place in line? 
I have no interest in anything other. Anything you could offer, I suggest you go before my vampires begin to thirst. Uh, well, if being first has mattered to you, then let me be first. Your life is limited, uh, of a certain number of years, hours, or minutes, yet you choose to fritter with precious uh, remainder. You tend to be first in line that does not move. My Mings and I have infinite patience. Uh, we'll, we will remain here, at the front of the line, until the slumbering coven is ready to see me, whether it takes days or years. Um, so what are you going to see the coven about? That's like my business alone. Um, I do not share my motives with my own thralls. Why would I tell you? Because I asked nicely. Well, I can tell you are genuinely ignorant rather than rather to offend. So I will tell you this. Not just power. I doubt you have any. But should you ever find knowledge, never share it without exacting a cost greater than the value of the knowledge. Uh... So if I pay you, you'll tell me why you're here? Oh, you have nothing of value to offer me. I'm certain of that. Well, enough of this. Well, look at it this way. If you don't give me a place in line, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, you only serve to anger me. You've made a grave mistake. <laughs> a grave mistake? Because he's a lich. He's dead. Hold! Are your minions so loyal that they would destroy themselves? Um, at your urging? Hear me, thralls of this inferior lich. Face me, and you will be destroyed. Serve me. Uh, you may share in the power for uh, I will unearth from this. Uh, starting again. Serve me, and you may share in the power I unearth from ancient Istmar. The first to bring me Ankiv's phylactery will take a place at my right hand. Bah! I can destroy you without any thralls. Ah, oh, how nice! So we got a mummy lord, a mummy lord. Ah, there he is. Man, that lich went down like a sack of crap. So there was a good advantage to having the lich with me. Wand of Eternal Decay. That sounds rather nasty. Alright, Hagspawn Guard. Well, you got rid of the... Uh, uh, you got rid of that arsehole. So, uh, I suppose that makes you first in line. Doesn't matter, though, whether you're first or 51st. Since the coming isn't seeing anyone. Until they do, I can't let you pass the... Guard, I will deal with them. Open the door and let them pass. Oh, oh yes, mistress. Right away, mistress. Uh, I don't know what you did, but Mistress wants to see you. Hooray! Hello, Mistress. Spirit Eater, the coven has uh, recoiled from your unnatural presence. You shall not enter here. Then why the fuck did you let me in? Well, I'm I'm actually not with... Sorry, I'm actually, no, sorry, no, sorry. actually not with this party. I'll be going now. We came all this way, and you deny us entrance. Do you truly speak for the coven, or for yourself? Filthy half-breed, speak of me in such a tone again, and there will be bloodshed. I dare you to act on such words. Coven servant, let me pass. We... Pishna, is this half-breed, uh... Yes, he speaks with my voice. You'd be wise to heed him. Ah, oh, you echo the words of a half-breed. Revolting. Revolting is not a first word I would have used to describe you, but it is close enough. By coming here, you forfeit your life and those of your companions. The coven must be protected at all costs. Look, I came here to speak with them, not to harm them. I believe you. However, one rarely controls one's own destiny, and those that carry the spirit eater curse are particularly at the mercy of fate. Your conquest over the Bear King was the last vision the coven showed me before they closed. They fear your hunger, and rightly so. He could have consumed me, but he did not. For the time being, the Spirit Eater's hunger remains at his mercy. 
If the curse grants you the power to make Bear King bow to you, then you are too much of a threat. Your fate will be the same as the others who prove dangerous or a nuisance to the coven. Uh, do your worst. You are to be exiled to the Skeen. I'll waste no more words with you. What of my mother's? I want to know... Uh, what of my mother's? I want to know her fate. Why was I cast out? And you will answer me, Hag. Oh, yes, I remember you now. How ironic that you should ask for your mother. Perhaps you will find the answers to your questions when you meet her. More likely, she will silence your questions. What do you mean? When I meet her. Uh, good riddance. Ah, you son of a bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Well, there's a lot of dead people down here. All right. Well, I think that's what we're going to leave today. <laughs> Session after all that chitter chattering, getting de uh, dealing with that. So we've got a whole. fuck was that from but regardless we're gonna leave it there and we'll we'll come back and we'll explore this section in the next session but uh it's that same situation why is no one ever pleased to see us just very very rude but anyway for now thank you all very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe i have been your humble bard tim and be sure to come back for the next session of aurora plays neverwinter nights 2